Hello, everybody. So Foodie Beauty is on a live stream right now called I've Had Enough. I actually reacted to the Winter Bees live stream yesterday. There really wasn't a whole lot to talk about. But due to the fact that the audio for Chantal got messed up, I had to trash it. So no react to that one, but that's fine. There really wasn't much to say anyway. But she's on this live stream right now, and she might delete this one. I don't know, but she likes to talk about fake outrage. Well, I think she's doing a lot of fake outrage right now because she really doesn't have anything to complain about. So apparently from what I've gathered watching the live stream, she's aggravated because she says she was going to do an open house of sorts, which I find strange because she lives in an apartment, not a house. She's not selling a house. She's in an apartment that is very, very dirty very filthy. Why would you want to do an open house in a place like that? I don't know. But she's mad because she says she was going to do an open house and people found out the date, blah, blah, blah. So knowing Chantal and how she likes to delete things, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, record things just in case. Just in case. And we'll just go from here and see what we'll see. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Sorry. <laughs> Ready. Woo woo. What's on my head? A uh, nice cream sundae. Hi, TM. McRage, no. Carolyn, member for 16 months. Yeah, I'm okay. Ready, sip. Rebees. Thank you. So basically, you're admitting to clickbaiting, Chantal. You know that people tune in for the rages. So you put a title saying, I've had enough with lots of exclamation points. I've had enough. <laughs> and then you're going to come on camera like, I'm okay. I'm fine. You click baited. You know you did. Carolyn, wow. Gabriel. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you guys remembered this uh, hat. But oh my gosh. Give me a minute. No, why are people finding out when my thing is? I'm tired of this. Okay, listen. People found out the date of my stupid open house. You don't think I have some spies? Okay, I do. Why is this not coming on? Anyway, no, not hair reveal. <laughs> this is just for like ugh, lint because the lint is really bad when you wear black and you have cats. So yeah, so this is just real nice. No, I'm not having the open house on that day anymore. My hair, like at all. <laughs> I know my hijab looks weird right now. I'm not. I'm not having the open house. What cosmetics are you giving away? I'm probably just going to give away everything. My bed, my couch. Hi, Black Chaos! Who would want anything that Chantal has owned? Anybody? Anybody? Any takers out there? Because... Everything that she has is filthy and dirty and disgusting. Why would anybody want that stuff? You. No, you guys can't come. I was just going to sell a few things, but I don't think I'm going to sell them. I just put everything like 40 bucks, like everything, because I can't think of an amount. So, you know what? I don't need to sell it. I can just give away my bed, pay someone to take it. No. <laughs> a lamp. What else? I have like a bunch of things. Why can't we come? Don't you know, I haven't seen much of the villa, but what I have seen of it, I haven't seen anything really valuable that anybody else would want. The TVs, she's already pawned them. 
The computer, she pawned that too. What else is left? Some stuff in the kitchen. You can just give that away. The bed, nobody would want that bed. A bed is something you do not want to get used, especially your bed, Chantal, because you're a filthy animal when it comes to your hygiene. Who would want to sleep on that bed? And the clothes, same thing. I mean, what can you tell us that you have that anybody else would honestly want? You love us. Chantal, fly me out. So I can't have it on that day now. Hello, Wholesale Melissa. Because I can't look. I can't. Because it's not that I'm like a pussy or something. It's just that I can't like have that be public and then have like. <sighs> I'm just, I'm still struggling with the whole open house situation. The idea. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought when you did an open house, it was because you were selling your house. And your house was really clean and looked really nice so people could walk through it. Her place is a disaster. What kind of an open house are you going to do, Chantal? That place is wrecked. And it probably smells bad. Why would you want anybody walking up in there? And isn't it interesting that you're comfortable with strangers coming into your house? But yet when people suggested to you a while back to get a maid or a couple of maids to come in and clean the place, you're like, oh, I don't want people seeing my mess. So you're okay with a bunch of people coming in versus just say a couple of people who are coming in to clean? So many people, right, TM? Like okay, so I don't know if this is true, but I've heard this before. Uh, this person's super chat says, Salad told people you are too touchy and unattractive. I can see her being that way. I can see her being that way. I can't confirm whether he said that or not, but I've heard around the way that it was said show up and like i'll buy everything i'm just gonna give my stuff away why are people knocking when i'm giving away oh she's giving away batteries that's like a whole don't even lie whenever you need batteries next time think of my face because you're gonna wish you had those batteries all right chantal i'm gonna clock you right now those batteries came from the dollar store a lot of the things you pulled out of that box came from the dollar store. I recognize them. N not dollar store shaming. Hey, I shop at the dollar store. It's perfectly fine. It's smart shopping. But I'm just saying, a lot of that stuff came from the dollar store. They're not expensive items. The last couple of days have been nuts. Chantal, I've tried to reach out to you. Oh, really? I'm a, I'm a normal person who works as a nurse. And just because I'm here trying to dox me. I know blocks chaos that happens to like some people. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll check for your message on Instagram, but people are nuts. It's crazy. You all need to leave each other alone. Like seriously, I'm sorry that's happening to you. You'll pay 4k for the Kia. No. What am I going to drive when I come back here? But why would you want to come back? You said that Kuwait was basically your home. That you felt more at home there than over in Canada. Why would you keep your car if you're planning to go to Kuwait to live with your husband? That doesn't make sense. It's not like the Kia is a valuable car, like a Lamborghini or, or a Mercedes Benz. It's a piece of crap on its last half a leg. Even if you sold the car, you wouldn't be giving up much. And Chantal, as far as you selling your car, you would need to completely pay it off first. You don't have the pink slip because you don't outright own it. <laughs> Another halal doll, no duh, right? How you will make a ton by having... I, d I wasn't selling, though. It was a free giveaway. Put the kitchen chair in a museum next to the ex... What? <laughs> How much do you want for a handful of fruit flies? <sighs> I'm giving away the stamp thing, too. I need to drive. Oh, Mimi. You know, why, Chantal? Why is it that every time you come online these days, you're high as balls? 
you're high you're high right now you're high every time you get on camera you're not like almost falling out high but you're still high it's obvious to everyone that you're high you're high ma'am hello hi i thought we would just have a bees i guess that glitter eyes cute and how are you going to change and be better if you do the same behavior that you did before sala you're even using the same terminology bees what does bees mean it means misbehaving if you are a newly reverted changed enlightened made better much improved muslim woman why would you want to misbehave where are you going with that actually this is a better glitter eye black chaos try not to let it bother you all my info is plastered out there too off of some accusations and Alyssa Lynn says why is your nose so stuffy lately because she's back on the cocoa she's back on the party powder that's how she has all this energy to stream for six to ten hours y'all and notice when she's on the party powder she's not binging on food she can stay away from the food when she's on the party powder this is what happened last time when she was with Natter and she lost about 50 or so pounds and we could see the difference in her face if you want my opinion and I'm just gonna give my thoughts I think Chantal has gained so much weight especially in Kuwait that she's back on the party powder diet again because that's the only way she can lose weight because that stops her from thinking about food and wanting food that's the only thing that will short circuit her urge to binge assumptions I'm apparently now running Sala and again yeah like I know you probably never expect people to be that crazy but yeah like if you can make things private if you're really worried I mean people just like to be nosy for the most part they don't really do much <laughs> but it's annoying and intimidating I get what you mean for sure oh so we're putting on the glitter eyeshadow now is that what we're doing see this is why it bothers me I don't care really if she wears glitter eyeshadow she can wear whatever eyeshadow she wants but what bugs me is this woman has claimed that Natter was so abusive to her so if you've been abused by somebody why would you do things that are a direct link to your abuser the same behaviors going to the same places like the outhouse anything linked to that person why would you keep the link going I would think she'd want to stay away from the glitter eyeshadow since it reminds her of Natter like I can't have anything private in my life <sighs> like yeah <laughs> I'm like I have to cancel like I deleted the ad I'm like now I have to cancel it because I cannot let is this is the is this like glitter I like this one <laughs> um address giving away the cat treat <laughs> no, no no I can't get I can't <laughs> no it can't go with Sam the person doesn't want it they have a lot of things already this is the Gatineau glitter, really? It's like the only one. Look at it. <laughs> but it's a good glitter. I didn't, honestly, I haven't used it in a while, I don't think. Oh, Lyric. No. I have a different glitter I used to use, wasn't it? I can't imagine being as hated as you. Oh, my God. Okay, Dweedle Stick. Can you... <laughs> Can you tell me one reason I should give a crap what you think? Thank you. Right, Missy Move? No, I'm kidding. Pouring up for BBJ. Peggy Sweet Treats. Hi, Peggy. I could go for um, coconut cream pie. So Black Chaos says, OMG, the lies of them saying you're on a bunch of cokey and that you're not going back to Kuwait. I want to say the girl who reads tarot is completely wrong. 
Well, you can't say that whoever reads tarot is wrong because she has yet to go back, right? She has yet to go back. Look, I'm someone I look at different things, not just cards. I look at logic. I look at reason. If I were someone and I know that I had to make a serious move in about, say, three weeks, I would be devoting all of my time and energy to packing, to making arrangements. Chantal spends forever and a day online doing absolutely nothing. She could actually combine the two. She could live stream and pack up all her stuff to show that she was serious. She's not doing that. She gets on camera freaking high as balls. How can you accomplish anything in that state? It's not exactly a sober state of mind to get things done. So anybody over there saying, all those people are wrong and they're just hating, are we? Or are we just being truthful? Both Pete and Chantal, they have so much they have to do to prepare to leave, if they're going to leave, and neither one is making a move. They're spending all their time on YouTube just whining and complaining about essentially nothing. Rock and roll. And by the way, the cards aren't wrong. The one tarot card reading that I did on Chantal, the judgment card came right up on top of her main card. The next day after that was the bankruptcy hearing. And that didn't go so well. Now my giveaway is ruined. Let's get a treat set. A whole coconut cream pie. Well, I mean, eat it until I don't want it anymore. So realistically, probably at least a half. No. You guys always think I'm on something. BBJ, the cats have to be... Okay, well, I'm not telling you guys where they're going, but... You guys always think that I'm on something. Chantal, you're the one that comes online, hamburger eyed. Your eyes are glassy, rubbing at your nose, clearing your throat, sucking down the cold drinks because your throat is irritated due to the cocoa drip. But we're not supposed to notice that you're high? I'm charging my switch so later, be on the lookout because I'm going to play. Bees. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, guys. You know what, Chantal? I'm looking at the chat right now. True says, girl, we know you're high. See? And these are people in your own chat. These are your own VIBs. These are the people that pay five bucks. Are they haters too? Are they haters because they're telling the truth? See, that's, Chantal, that's something that Chantal does. Anybody that tells the truth and they're not buying the BS and they're not co-signing on the BS, you're automatically a hater. No, we're just not enablers. We're not going to kiss your behind. We're not going to lie for you. We're not going to lie to you. We're going to tell you the truth, Chantal. Excuse me. Nothing. Get Minecraft. I'm going to play Mario after. I have to fit everything I own into a suitcase and that carry on. Why? If you have anything of value that you wanted to send over there, you could put stuff in boxes, take them down to the post office and mail them to the address. That'd be a way to send your stuff over there going to be a whole different life for me. I can show you the world. <laughs> I can't wait. I want to do more things. So that means we have to health food bees. I think I'm going to go on a coconut water diet. Don't just don't make fun of me. That's not going to work, Chantal. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You and I, we both have BEDs. Mine's in recovery. Yours isn't. Yours is very, very severe. People that have severe EDs, diets don't work. 
Diets are temporary things where you just want to lose a few pounds. You are two to 300 pounds overweight and you have an ED on top of that. Your main problem is not food, believe it or not. Your problem with food originates in your mind. You've got to get that straight. Do you understand? It's a mental, emotional thing. Whatever you've got wrapped around food, you got to unwrap it. And, and trying to use cocoa to stop yourself from eating, what are you going to do if you do go to Kuwait? You're not going to have the cocoa over there. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to binge. You're going to binge when you get stressed out. You're going to binge when you get bored. You're going to get binge. You're going to binge when you're angry. You use food as medication for everything. And you can't do that. Clearly, you're on the cocoa in the green back in Canada. But once you go back to Kuwait, if you go, what then? What are you going to turn to except food? You're going to be bigger than you've ever been if you go there. And I'm not saying that to fat shame you. That's just fact. Oh, by the way, thanks, Cam. Hi, Crispy. I don't know when I'm coming back. I don't know where I'm going after. So I don't know how I'll do now. I I unclogged the vacuum today. Um, like, you know, the head part, it was so, look at my thing. <laughs> sure. It was so clogged. There was like a little tube that was really clogged up. So um, after I, oh, I'm tired. Sorry. I feel bad for you, Chantal, because adults would not act like this and it blows my mind. I'm fine. I'm a good person. There's nothing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know blocks chaos. It's just crazy. <sighs> okay, whatever, Betsy Wetsy. You guys always think that. Although my eye makeup is leaky. But yeah, I appreciate your support for sure. She she appreciate she appreciates you enabling her. That's what she really means. I appreciate you being here and enabling me and my addictions because I'm an addict, and all addicts love enablers, and that's what you guys are. And I know that some of you over in the VIB chat you care about Chantal. You honestly care. You're not feeders. You honestly care, but do understand, regardless of whether you're a feeder or not. You're still enabling an addict and you watch her on live stream. You see where your money's going. You see that she uses the money to hurt herself, buying the drugs, overdoing it on the food. Maybe you mean to or not mean to, but you're helping her to hurt herself. Are you okay with that? Really think about that for a minute. People are very invasive. I'm kind of used to it, like, honestly. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, I see what they mean by my swollen cheek, like, from this side. It is swollen a little bit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I don't mean this disrespectfully, but do you think I have Bell's palsy? It's like Bell's palsy. Chantal, do you even know what that is? 50s and 60s dresses really suit you. Oh, you fine? When did I wear one of those? Thank you, Searching Spirit. Oh my God, Ricotta and Barracuda. Look at the fish. Welcome to Very Important Peters. Ready, set, peace. Where is the... Yeah, you know, I was wondering this too. Elaine Duggan, Duggan says, you have no TV for Mario, ma'am. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If she sold her TVs, how is she going to Mario Bees? That makes no sense. Oh, Monitor Sala. He's not around right now. He's playing this game with his friends. Hi, Diego. Oh, my gosh. My eyeliner burns my eyeballs. <laughs> you miss them, Lolo? Yeah, gone are those days. I'm a married woman now. So thanks for beezing, but I just wanted to say how annoyed I am that my open house is now ruined, like you guys. So you're annoyed because people found out about your open house. 
And that's a good enough reason to clickbait everybody with this I've had enough title and make a whole live stream about how annoyed you are over the fact that people found out about your open house. That's the content we're going with now. You just, you, it, it, it was just making you so angry. I've had enough. Had enough of what? You put out an ad, I guess, because I haven't heard anything about it. And people found out about your open house. And now what? You're going to make, <laughs> you're going to make a live stream over that. I think it's funny. Okay. <laughs> no, none of his friends are female. That you know of. No. <laughs> See, you know what? She's toxic. She's toxic. If you're that kind of a woman, that a man, because they are female, they cannot be his friend, how insecure and jealous are you? How insecure and jealous do you have to be to be a woman and you're going to gatekeep your husband from having friends. You're, you're, you're telling him you can only have male friends. You can't have female friends. If you have a real love marriage, it don't matter what gender, what sexual identity your husband's friends are. They are his friends. If you love your husband, they love you. You got nothing to worry about. You know, trust is part of love and relationships, Chantal. And if you're over there playing warden and helicoptering your husband and saying, you can't talk to nobody who's a woman, you can't hang around nobody who's a woman, you don't have a relationship, ma'am. You're holding somebody hostage. I'm jealous and insane. Yep, you sure are. <clears throat> and that's part of what drives men away. That right there, jealousy and insecurity. Insecurity jealousy the real emotions behind them are fear of loss you know and, and fear that you're not enough it's fear jealousy and insecurity are fear in a different form with a different face but it's still fear kayla kayla do you think chantal would give anyone her account passwords You know what, Chantal? And if you are jealous and if you are insecure, I think I know why. I think you're not happy being the way that you are, but yet you won't change. You're jealous of anybody who is smaller than you. You are jealous of any other woman, no matter what she looks like. You look at women as a threat and yet you won't improve yourself to where you'll no longer be jealous and insecure. I don't, I don't understand. You know, you want to be in a relationship so badly, so badly that you'll pay for one, but yet you won't take that determination and improve yourself to where you can stand on your own and say, yeah, I look good. I'm healthy. I got my act together in every way. I'm a catch. I am such a catch. You get a lot of self-worth doing that. And you don't feel as much insecurity and jealousy, but you just want to continue being the way that you are and continue to be insecure and jealous and be that kind of suffocating female. No. <laughs> Honestly, um, no. I'm not, no, I wouldn't say, but like I trust certain, I don't trust very many people, only maybe Salah. With stuff like this <laughs> but no i wouldn't just give random people my passwords like who does that because some of us have been watching chantelle for years isn't that weird <sighs> i'm sorry i didn't bees earlier i'm trying to be motivated to like pack up but i'm just like i figure like i'm just gonna get rid of everything so Maybe I don't have to worry about it just now. How am I going to fit everything into one suitcase? Leave it all? No, I need to bring some stuff. Like what? Not to be rude, but I would imagine that a lot of your clothes that you bought before don't fit anymore. 
And even if they do, you're going to have to wash them for at least a week just to get the stink off because you don't wash your clothes. You're not a clean person. Be better for you to leave everything behind and just start over fresh. What is that, A+. Plus? Elaine Douglas says her life is spiraling. It's been spiraling for a while. And look, I know a lot of people are waiting for karma to deliver just a severe knockout punch to Chantal. But trust me, I've been seeing karma working slowly on this one in subtle ways. It's, it's, it's been working on her, dismantling everything slowly. Sometimes when you're a really awful, rotten person and karma is sitting over in the corner with her phone, texting back and forth to Justice saying, hey, Justice, do you see this one? Do you see what she's doing? You gathering the receipts? Justice will send a text right back saying, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on her. Let's get to work on her slowly. Let's, let's take away everything in her world, little by little, to where she don't even notice. And then by the time she realizes it, it's too late. Ever since the whole Natter drama, her channel has been going down down she did every offensive awful thing she could do on youtube until she literally ran out of ideas and the only thing she could do was do the exact opposite of all those offensive things and that's where this whole uh modesty arc came into play you know she showed us everything she did everything so where do you go from there you got to go backwards i'm going to shock people by being modest by covering up and pretending to be somebody I'm not and pretending to be part of a faith that I really don't care about. That's going to be the new shocking arc. Well, the shock has worn off, Chantal. Now, where do you go from here? Where you go is you're basically trying to escape from your life and escape from your problems. You want to live in the character Foodie Beauty 24-7. You don't want to be Chantal Marie. You don't like her. You don't like her life. You don't like her problems. So you're trying to run all the way to Kuwait to get away from her. To live in your fantasy world with Sala. But guess what? Problems follow you no matter where you move to. You'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> What's in the box up there? I don't know. I don't think anything actually. Because I'm going to pack things inside of it. Oh my God, I'm so nervous to like move. I'm going to be homeless essentially, but it's okay. Like my, I have family, like I'm going to stay with my aunt. For a yeah, I don't see that happening. I really don't. With the fact that Chantal, she's, she sleeps all day. She's up all night live streaming. She's dirty. She's filthy. She's not the kind of person that can go into another person's house and remember, hey, I'm a guest and I should act like a polite guest and clean things up and offer to maybe do some of the housework if I'm going to stay longer than an hour. That's not her way of thinking. Wherever she goes and shacks up, if there's already somebody living there, there's going to be a clash at some point. A little while. BBJ shelter bees. No, she's not going to the shelter. When are you moving? The end of the month. The trust users booking viewings of the villa. <laughs> Disaster tours. <laughs> no, you don't want to come here. Go home now. I don't think you'll be allowed. Oh no, Elaine. Why do you think that? Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Hmm. Anyways, my fan's off, so my door's open. Um. And by the way, foodie, why are you putting on the Gat No Glitter eyeshadow? It's like you're getting prepared to go somewhere after this stream's over. I wonder where you're going to go. I can only guess, though. Hi, 
I hope things get better for you. She's so hot. Papa Smurfette, whatever. Searching spirit. What brand is your glitter eyeshadow? The Titanic wig is garbage. What did I do today? What was Pete's life too? I think they hear him. You can tell she's high. You know how you can tell when she's high? It's not just her eyes. She gets those hamburger eyes, but she talks at like half speed. Like she literally talks like this. Like the motor just got turned down on it. <laughs> Girl, you're in park. You're not even in first or second gear. That's why I hate when you get high and you go live. It's like you, you, you just talk in that low monotone voice and you're talking like so slow. Yeah. What do I have a gap in my teeth today? Adjust the sneaky rage folks. <laughs> I know. Jolly like Christmas. Abby Jolly. Okay. No, the llama's not coming with me. <laughs> that llama is trashed. It needed to be put in the garbage a while ago. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. You always think that. I'm not struggling to read. The new Hogwarts game, actually, I was watching it, but she's tired. <laughs> also, Chantel, can I please have the Ina Garden wig? It's like long gone. I think it's like in, it was in the car. But thank you, St. Jordy, loyalty Beezer. I'm sure he watches me, me. Why? I'm so bored with you, Chantal. So, I have to change the date for that giveaway. Some of the first people who ever messaged me, Look, I may message them back because I don't. You know, I got a question for you, Chantal. Look, I don't know exactly what you're on. I don't know if you're cross faded. You know, you're doing a little bit of the white mixed with the green, or it's a little bit of the green right now. A question for you why would you take something like the green or the white or both and come on camera and talk to people why not just do your live stream first sober then do whatever you want off camera like enjoy whatever it is you're taking because i'm pretty sure that having to focus on the chat while you're just you're trying to feel good it can't be a good experience think they would have been trolls. Hey, Veronica, where will I stay, Stan? Probably with family. My five, six brother. Yeah. Whenever you Exactly. Right, honey. I have to clean it, and that's what I'm doing. I have to sort and clean. I can do it. It won't be impossible. And then... <laughs> She's so high. And then that's it. I think I'm just going to get rid of everything. You already said that. Next. Who's talking to girls on which social media? What? Taking the whole weekend. <sighs> you know what, guys? She's extremely boring. This is so boring. Lord, this is boring. You know what? 
I can't put up with her boring today. I'm really not in the flipping mood. Really not in the mood. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to shut her up for a minute. And we're going to do this. Because, you know, her live stream is pretty much done anyway. And I want to show you guys stuff that I found on Twitter. Because I got thoughts. I got lots and lots of thoughts. So Jen with a G says, Foodie Beauty and her chat are always next level. So check out this comment from Lynn the Grandma saying, Chantal, my witches and I have been doing magic. Hopefully in about a week, FFG will have a foot where her head is supposed to be. Lynn? I don't know who you are, ma'am, but I happen to be Wiccan. So prepare to be dragged. Prepare to be dragged. I'm getting sick of people that I'm seeing online saying they're doing magic on other people. And also claiming to be a witch. A true Wiccan, a true witch, doesn't throw, they don't throw curses on people. They don't do black magic on people. The Wiccan creed is harm none, do as you will. That means you can do whatever you want as long as you're not harming anybody. If you're over there with friends trying to do magic and you're throwing curses or whatever it is you did in a ritual, you're not a witch. You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot because whatever it is you put out there in the universe will come back to you. You throw out bad energy, you'll get bad energy in return. Trying to use something like magic or energy to do your bidding, to do negative bidding, that will always come back and bite you in the ass. Always. So I don't know what you think you were doing coming into Chantal's chat saying that you were a witch and in the same sentence say that you've been doing magic and you're implying that you did something awful to FFG, but you're not a witch. And this is coming from somebody who is an ordained witch, part of a coven. I was on my way to being the high priestess of a coven, okay? Solitary practitioner now, but I was part of a coven once. But I'm not liking what I hear whenever I go into a chat and people say, yeah, I've done some magic on Chantal and, and I've done this and I've done that and I'm so powerful. Cut it out, please. You're embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. If you're doing magic, and you're trying to hurt other people, the only person you're gonna hurt is yourself, okay? What else we got here? So this is from No Beezer. This is something very interesting that happened in Chantal's chat. So pay attention up here, the Sala and Chantal account, right? And then it switches to this right here. This right here. Huh. So everybody's been under the impression lately that there's been some different people operating the Sala and Chantal account because sometimes things will sound one way and then later on sound another way. And this just kind of adds fuel to that fire. Uh, Mrs. Robinson says, Foodie Beauty was MIA last night. Uh, Natter was as well. She wasn't home during pizza stream. He ordered pizza for one person. She wasn't coming back that night. Otherwise, he would have ordered and left her part of it. Her nose is congested again. Nose candy type of congestion. Too many circumstantial evidence. Right. I mean, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. I think Foodie's been hanging out with Natter on the side. That's why she's 
doing just like one stream a day versus streaming all day. And this is behavior that she's shown us before, because when she really got wrapped around Natter, she would do like one live stream and then disappear for the rest of the day. That, that was her pattern. Then that's her pattern. Now, uh, this is from Mary cab MC. Uh, there is a unit available March 1st at Chantal's complex. So I don't know if that's her unit that they're advertising. I would imagine not because as filthy and nasty and disgusting as that place is, it's going to take some time to sort out, but here's the rent on the apartment, like almost $2,000, which is standard. That's not really expensive rent, Chantal. That's standard rent. Actually, if you want to know, that's pretty cheap rent. That's pretty doggone cheap, believe it or not. Because when I lived in Cali, a one bedroom, one, not even a townhouse girl, will run you about two grand. So if you got a two bedroom for $2,000, that is doggone cheap. You should hold on to it. It's not that the rent is expensive. It's just that you've got expensive habits and you'd rather spend the money there. This is also from no Beezer. Okay. So Sala, and then it switches over here. I think there's more than one person running the Sala and Chantal account. Uh, Hidden Truth says foodie beauty. I thought she was done bullying. So yeah, Foodie Beauty did a post and then she deleted it where she was essentially trying to bully French Fry Girl. Uh, talking about French Fry Girl's body, but I thought you were a newly reverted Muslim woman, Chantal. Shouldn't you not be bullying people for any reason? Ugh. And there's Roman. This was the live that Roman did just the other day. Roman, listen to me, bro. You were just a walk on part player in the Chantal show. And your part lasted for exactly five minutes. And then after that five minutes, you were done. You didn't come out empty handed. You got a channel out of it. You got some subscribers. You could take that and do whatever you please with it, but you are determined to ride Foodie Beauty's coattails, even though your time is done. You're no longer an actor in the show. You're over on the side, just watching everybody else do the acting and get paid. This pathetic attempt to get attention, using Foodie's name is exactly that. It's pathetic. Sir, take your channel, take it in a different direction, Make whatever you can out of that. You got all that you were supposed to get, probably a little bit more. It's time to go. It's time to go. Make it alive saying, I will dox her number. Foodie hasn't talked to you in the longest. How would you even have her number? I mean, you're making yourself look ridiculous. Go away, Roman. <laughs> go away. Okay, this is uh, deserted places. Oh. Look at this location, y'all. Look at this location. Oops. Wait a minute. You know what? I've been screwing up. I've been, I've been showing stuff on Twitter and it's not even like showing the tab correctly. Doggone it. <laughs> Man, I hate the new things to stream yard. Hold up. I got to go back. Dang it. I messed up. I'm like looking at the screen saying, why can't I show you guys stuff? Dang it. All right. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. I am. I'm laughing at myself. I hate the new changes on, on stream yard. Hate it. I've been talking about stuff and you guys can't even see. All right. So let's just catch up to where we were. So this is the comment about Lynn saying that she's a witch. Her and her friends have been doing magic. 
and about a week FFT will have a foot where her head's supposed to be. That's what I was referring to. People cl claiming to be witches and they're over there, they're doing rituals and they're, they're magical. Girls, sit down. Sit down. You're embarrassing yourself. A real Wiccan would never act that way. Okay, this is the Sala and Chantal account. And here we go. The Al Sultan and Sala in the same chat. So anybody have any questions about whether different people have access to that account? If Chantal is live and then Sala is under one account, who's under the other? Yeah, weird, huh? Okay, there is the listing for the townhouse. There you go. And I already spoke about that. Here's a mirror proof from No Beezer. Here's him at the top. And then this here. So Foodie Beauty was in the chat. And then this and then that up there. I mean, who's got access to all these accounts? Then, of course, there is the post where Foodie was coming after FFG. FFG just seems to be her target for no apparent reason other than jealousy and security. And here is the picture of Roman making a live saying he will dox Foodie's number and just completely embarrassing himself. Now let's get back to where we were. <laughs> I can't believe that happened to me. Doggone it. All right. This would make such an amazing location for pictures. Can you imagine all the fantastic pictures that would just come out of being there for an entire afternoon? I love photography. Photography is so relaxing and so artistic. And you're capturing a moment in time that will probably never come again. And by the way, if you're somebody and you don't have to be a professional photographer to take pictures. If you got a point and click camera, you can do photography. You don't need a $500 camera. And one thing that I found out through photography, you know, when you do photography, it teaches you to focus on the things that matter versus the things that don't, you know, like just a, lock in to like what the subject is versus everything around it that is you don't want there. It teaches you like correct perspective. So just look at that picture. And who said this? Your adjustication says, so Ann Phyllis is the Klingon left a comment and I said some things. I didn't say them kindly as everyone else seemed to have thought best to do so. I stand by what I said and I don't regret a single word. You may have to pause to read. So this is Aunt Phyllis talking in the chat saying, can't wait to see you again, cutie. I'll help you have positive days. We'll have fun, cook, meditate, and chill. To which this person says, oops, I got to go back. And I'll read it to you because I know the type is really, really small. Kitty Kate says, your favorite family member is literally hurting herself on the internet with food, drugs, and neglect of all forms of her health. She essentially is a panhandling beggar for coins and her tin can is YouTube. She can't be on medication for mental illness because she's not been properly diagnosed by a professional. And we know that because she said it. She's not happy, Aunt Phyllis. She's wildly out of control, but it's her racism, her horrible treatment of people and animals. We can see the cats are starving. Her overdose level of drug use, her gluttonous abuse of food, her bigotry in all forms, and now her monetization of a largely misunderstood religion and culture that she's appropriating, but disrespecting in a way that a K member would think is too far. And yet all of that still doesn't mean that we want her unhappy or God forbid, unalive. 
The VIBs are contributing to what's going to force your sister to have to make unalive arrangements for her oldest daughter because they encourage her to keep eating, to do more drugs, and even to get behind the wheel of her car when she's too inebriated to speak clearly. They're the most important reasons that people publicly ask, can someone step in? Because we don't want to see her on some thumbnail of a video that she has passed away from a drug overdose or that she choked on her puke because she passed out and couldn't wake up. We don't want that. Most of her VIBs do. They want her unalive. We want her better. You know, that's a harsh comment, but all the way true. Absolutely all the way true. A lot of people that are VIBs, they don't have her best interest at heart. They don't care about her health. All they care about is getting their shits and giggles and getting their fetish fulfilled. And Foodie, because she's lazy, she doesn't want to change. So as long as they go along with it, she goes along with it and vice versa. Oh, for those who are not aware, Allah came into FFG's chat the other day and spoke with FFG in the audience. Uh, and there's a clip here. Foodie Beauty, Allah is going live tonight and said that if Chantal comes back to Kuwait, he will press charges. Is this real or just part of their script for season two? In my opinion, this feels scripted. She said it was season two and BBJ is part of that season two more fake drama. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm being healthy and skeptical with my skepticism. You know, I'm skeptical of anybody that comes within five feet of foodie. But let's see the clip here. Look, says it here. Look, it's up on the screen. If you come back, he's going to open a case against you, girl. Think wisely. Wisely before you go. Yeah, just you were giving her a way out. That makes sense. That makes sense. You don't want her to be stuck there. Then you're stuck with her there. Let her go. Let her go home. And uh, <laughs> don't come back. Wow. Yeah, so Allah did say, look, he, he didn't do anything. According to Allah, he did not do anything while Chantal was there because he wanted her to get the heck out of Kuwait. Just get out of the country. He was trying to play it smart. He gave her a way out. He let her go home. But he has said if she tries to come back to Kuwait, there's going to be a case. Will it happen? Don't know. Don't know at all. But he's basically issuing a warning through FFG because he knows that Chantal watches FFG. So he's basically warning Chantal through FFG. Look, if you try to come here, there's going to be a whole lot of consequences that you don't want to deal with. So I suggest you stay out. Because what I could have done, I will do if you come back. I don't know if Chantal can leave the country. I mean, she is. She's got $47,000 in debt. I don't know if that would play into her ability to travel. Uh, if they would say, no, you can't leave because you got all this debt that you have to deal with. I, I'm not in the system like that to know. But regardless of that, Allah is saying, you come back to Kuwait. That'll be the worst mistake you ever made because, you know, you coming over here and running your mouth ain't going to work. So we'll see. What happens? We will see. And see. I I'm not going to play the clip with BBJ and, and Pete. I don't want to upset you guys. Oh, this is from Miss Girl. Uh, people were putting ones in Chantal's chat the other day saying that they'll cancel if she goes back to Kuwait. Look, look at all the ones. See, everybody hated the Kuwait arc. It wasn't just the reaction channels that hated it and our audiences that hated it. Her own VIBs hated it. They're like, it was boring. There was nothing to talk about. It wasn't fun, yet she wants to go back there. You know, and if this is your entire income, you should listen to your audience, Chantal. They were bored. They were so bored. Uh, Book Lady Bees 
posted this comment that somebody left on the live that Pete's did where he was roughly handling and mishandling uh, BBJ. This person says, you are the most disgraceful POS I have seen. Take your misplaced toddler tantrum out on the person you are mad at. That person that has used and abused you for 20 years. I feel sorry for your mom having to listen to your whiny 40-year-old butt gripe about how crappy her apartment is. Please encourage Foodie Beauty to put that cat down already. I don't agree with that statement. I don't agree with it. That cat could be given to a, a, an organization or a home and they take care of her just fine. Uh, you just shook her in front of hundreds of people because you are a sad, weak little coward, afraid to tell Foodie Beauty what you really think. You should be mortally ashamed of yourself. Karma's a bee. I agree with everything except for that one part about Chantal should put the cat down. Uh, I disagree with that part. I mean, she could be easily taken to a vet, made better, and live another six or seven years. Okay, so that's it for this react. Uh, Chantal was boring, so we cut it early. I had stuff to look at on Twitter anyway. So hope you guys have enjoyed this react video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here and have a great day. Bye-bye.